Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Ventures with Kramer. On today's video, I'm going to be checking out the Starlink Cable Routing Kit and doing a quick unboxing on that. Let's get started. So here we go, we got the Cable Routing Kit. Definitely pretty small, or at least it feels a lot lighter. Let's go ahead and try and get this opened up here nice here we go <laughs> SpaceX branded silicone nice so a couple things that I'm seeing right off the bat obviously silicone decent amount here Avoid contact with eyes, skin, just basic safety stuff. Has the nice little spot on top to be able to actually puncture the seal. So that's what that little top point is for, if you guys didn't already know that. We have a one inch wood drill bit, nice and aggressive. It's good to be able to see. Exactly what we needed to be able to help try and get into the wall. And then, let's see here, just five of your basic cable mounting guides. Um, and then, nice. A very long drill bit. Kind of help get that started there. We'll tell, kind of take a little bit more of a look here. And then this, I'm assuming now look at the instructions though. Nice thick cardboard tube. This is what you can end up actually putting in through the wall. Make it a little easier to help. Yeah. You can see that fits in there just perfectly. I mean this will be able to slide right in there in the wall. Be able to set and fit that cable through so you're not having to set and try to put a wire through and then try to pull back. That too will make it really nice. Nothing else underneath there. You doing okay there, Zoe? You got the sniffles? Let's take a quick look at the kind of manual here. One thing that you will hopefully help to see, and that's important to do at the bottom here, is this little bit of a loop that you hang down below. That's so that if any water gets onto it and it drips, it'll actually drip down below there instead of going towards the grommets. Ooh, let's actually take a look at the grommets here. Try and get one of these out. Feels like a... I want to say it's... It's like a hard rubber and plasticky type of feel. Definitely flexible. Wiggle it around. You have that one open piece right here. Let's see. I'm betting these things would work a little bit easier if you put them in some warm water. Not sure how warm water yet though, but I definitely need to check it out because whether or not it ends up needing to go into the that tube though. So let's see what we have here. Hmm. Wow, they went all out on these instructions. I'll take some photos here and try and help talk through these next. Okay, so now that I showed you the unboxing, I want to show you the user manual because you don't see this online unless they haven't updated it yet for how to actually install the cable routing kit. It does show some nice pictures and some really obvious ones right off the bat of being able to have that drip line. And I'll just kind of go page by page on what's happening here. First one here, just massive amounts of warnings. Basically, be safe. Um, try not to drill through walls like on studs and different things like that and definitely keep an eye for electrical wires next piece you get that spade bit that's one inch the tube the cardboard the silicone the grommets wall clips they don't talk anything about like warming up the grommets but i think that'd be helpful and you got the drill and the stud finder 
and then definitely helping the planet. I mean, it is a 100 foot cable. It's exactly what I was talking about and you get only certain sizes. So you need to put it in the right spot, especially if you're gonna be drilling in there. And then again, don't drill through studs, pipes, electrical wiring. Search for that stuff first whenever you're trying to do this. Help to be as safe as possible. So help to drill out with a small drill bit first. It's really, really long. And then you're gonna be able to try and use that spade to be able to make the hole big enough. Then you're gonna to wanna to pass through that tube. The tube is only to be able to help feed through the wire. If you ever fed wires through a wall, you know how frustrating that can be. Definitely don't plug anything in yet. Then you're gonna to help to actually put that grommet on there. I suggest trying to warm it up a little bit in some warm water to make it a little bit more flexible to fit it into the hole easier. Then once you got that done, then you wanna start unplugging everything, um, or getting everything plugged in, and then wait for it to start connecting back up just like you normally would. Obviously you see like the whole, if it's white, it's connecting. If it's solid white, it's connected and red, then it's not connected to the internet. You have your different kind of stuff if you're having trouble getting connected online. And that's basically it, nice and easy.